DoorDash is soon to be delivering McDonald's in Houston, Texas, and is this a big blow to Uber Eats? Xbox, Twitter, Uber, Postmates, oh, no. Netflix, Movie Pass, Google, Facebook, eBay, DoorDash, Apple, Amazon, Airbnb, The Entrepreneur. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and boy, it uh feels like my old days when I was primarily a DoorDash video. We got what two stories today about DoorDash? Well, this one's kind of about DoorDash and Uber Beats, but what the heck? Wear the shirt anyway. So um. Anyway, there's no better way to start this video by going like, bye-bye Uber Eats, it was fun while it lasted, at least that's what McDonald's is saying, because McDonald's has closed a deal with DoorDash, Uber Eats' rival. DoorDash Inc. will start delivering from McDonald's Corporation restaurants in Houston later this month, a blow to Uber Technologies Inc. relationship with the burger giant as the only company currently ferrying its food to customers in the U.S., the move comes as companies including Uber Eats jockey for share in the fast-growing business to deliver food to customers' homes and offices. Investors have poured money into startups like DoorDash and Arrival Postmates Inc., which filed earlier this year to list its share publicly, although, as you have might know if you've been watching my channel, that might not necessarily happen. DoorDash most recently valued at $13 billion after a $600 million funding round in May has vastly increased its deal with restaurants in the past year. DoorDash and McDonald's said Tuesday the delivery company would pick up orders from 200 Houston area restaurants starting in July 29th. DoorDash will add McDonald's to its subscription service with nearly a million members paying $9.99 a month for free delivery and lower services fees on orders of at least $12. Which, okay, I'm going to start right here and kind of say, hold on, pause, 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 dude, what are you doing? Uh, okay, McDonald's, here's one of the problems with these companies, um, I know, it sounds kind of great, like, oh, McDonald's, we're gonna have our own subscription service, and through our subscription service, you will get food delivered by DoorDash, you know what, Postmates figured this out a long time ago, they figured out that this was gonna be coming, like, hey, if you charge people a certain amount of money, they will order things exclusively through them, so, DoorDash has the Post, not DoorDash, Postmates, Postmates has the Postmates unlimited option. And for $10 a month, you can get free deliveries, uh, like the delivery fees are waived on pretty much most items that you can buy through Postmates. Now, this accomplishes two things. First of all, if you don't really buy anything through Postmates, Postmates gets $10. But what if you get a lot of stuff through Postmates? Well, then you are actually buying a lot more through Postmates. Now, Postmates still collects like an additional fee on the side for what they deliver to you. However, if you do the Postmates party, then you can save on that fee and the delivery, and then it ends up being pretty good for the customer, provided you use the party option. And with Postmates, that $10 will get you everything. With McDonald's, it's just McDonald's. And there's so many McDonald's, especially in this area, you can walk to McDonald's and back. I've read it, a lot of people don't like to walk, I acknowledge that, but... You can't, this isn't going to be much of a success in my opinion, because since Postmates does do it, what's, what are you going to do? Like, is Burger King going to start doing that now? Is Domino's going to start doing that now? Is Jack and Bob, you, you can't be doing that. Delivery is, delivery needs to be convenient. And I mean, granted, who knows, maybe, here's the thing, this $9.99 a month thing, it's for free delivery. I, I get that. However, why would you pay $9.99 a month to McDonald's to get free McDonald's delivery when you could pay Postmates the exact same $10 and still get free delivery along with Burger King, Wendy's, um, House Dog, Wiener Schnitzel, Pizza Hut, all that jazz. Why would you do that? You know, just had a little had a mini rant there, so let's continue. So, the partnership will likely expand nationally later this year if it succeeds in Houston. Executives from both companies said the companies declined to discuss the terms. Of course, they didn't. DoorDash's fleet of contract workers within delivery distance of about 80% of U.S. households helped win over the burger giant, McDonald's Senior Vice President of Operations Bill Garrett said. Quote, it was the reach that was really appealing to us. Well, I think Postmates has just a little bit more reach than DoorDash, but, you know, I guess that's debatable. Some restaurants have put, pushed back recently against high fees and other delivery deal terms that they say can make delivery orders unprofitable. McDonald's last year negotiated down the commission it paid to Uber to handle its order. Uber also agreed to spend more on marketing and promotions for the partnership as part of new terms the two companies recently reached. So this means that the Uber Eats deal is not dead yet, It's just, but it could definitely be in jeopardy. 
McDonald's was one of the first big restaurant trains to sign up when Uber added meal delivery to its U.S. services in 2017. Uber Eats offers delivery from more than 9,000 McDonald's U.S. restaurants, more than half its domestic locations. McDonald's has opened up discussions with other delivery providers, including Grubhub, Inc., people familiar with the discussion said. Mr. Garrett said McDonald's wouldn't close the door on partnerships with other delivery services. We know customers are very loyal to particular apps. We want to provide that level of confidence, Mr. Garrett said. Grubhub stock fell 1.9% Tuesday, while fellow delivery company Waiter Holdings, Inc. was down 5.7%. Uber closed down 0.9%. Not very profitable. Like, they're all failing. McDonald's and DoorDash executives said they believe DoorDash's deliveries of McDonald's food would be profitable for both companies. DoorDash Chief um, Operating Officer Payne said, We are excited to make that entire equation work. So, here's the thing. Um, This is not an exclusive deal by any stretch of the imagination. But Uber Eats was the official exclusive courier for McDonald's. It's been that way for a long time. And the partnership gave a lot of benefits. So when you saw like an Uber Eats ad, you saw McDonald's advertising. And when you got a McDonald's bag, whether you were getting it delivered or not, you saw Uber Eats on the back. It was a very lucrative partnership. And now McDonald's wants to do it themselves to a certain extent. Now, again, this is interesting that they're testing partnering it with the DoorDash app. And I th- think that the opposite would happen. I think the... I would think that the, well, the pro to doing food delivery apps is like, okay, they charge the customers the $10 fee and they deliver your food for like a very, very low commission and you don't have to do the work yourself. That's what seems like it would work. And yet McDonald's, I'm surprised. I'm very surprised they're actually taking this position where they want to have their own food delivery service. It's like, hey, pay us $10 and you can get free delivery. It's like, well, why would you do that when the other companies will do that for you? And it doesn't even make sense to do it when you're using DoorDash and Uber Eats to deliver food. Like, like this is a bizarre, bizarre announcement. Truly strange. So, I, I don't know. Um, I think, I mean, it's definitely going to hurt Uber Eats. I, it's going to help DoorDash, obviously. I don't think McDonald's is going to get like a lot of $10 people or people paying $10 a month for their service alone when they can do that for Postmates and then get McDonald's delivered for free along with all these other restaurants. I just don't think that's going to happen. However, it will be interesting to see exactly what does happen as a result of this. In the meantime, I would like to know what you think about this. Do you think this is a good deal for DoorDash and McDonald's? Do you think it's a good deal for Uber? Do you think it's a bad deal for everyone? Would you pay $10 a month just to McDonald's to get free food delivery from McDonald's and only McDonald's? I would love to know. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way, helping the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. If gas prices get you just a little down, check out the GetUpside app below. It's totally free, but you get cash back on every gas purchase. If you want more content from me, check me out at Kevin T. Rodriguez and the Entrepreneur Vlogs channel on YouTube. And finally, if you want to talk to me or other fellow uh, couriers out there, check us out on Facebook at the Entrepreneur Hangouts. And as always, Blame responsibly. Have a good one.